chapter Games of Romance, I write about the Olympic Games' vision of unity and diversity in the context of Tokyo's so-called hypersolo society. Since less and less people are getting married, experts in the Japanese context are anticipating the emergence of a so-called hypersolo society. This development is a topic of great discussion and concern since the late 1990s. In my chapter, I evaluate the official handling of this development and especially the response measures put in place in the run-up to the Tokyo Olympics that, at least to some extent, stylize the Olympics as the games of Romans or the possibility of Romans. In this context, I critically discuss one of the three cornerstones of the game's vision, namely unity in diversity. This vision that was chosen in the context of the overall restructuring and modernization ethos of the global Olympic movement at the time Tokyo won its bid in 2013 aims at accepting and respecting differences in race, color, gender, sexual orientation and many others. I argue that the concept of unity in diversity and its subsequent initiatives stimulated by the Olympics are a positive starting point but it is as yet little more than a rhetorical device that demands a great deal of further development. The crucial time period will be the post-Olympics, and that directly leads to the question of the impact of the postponement or potential cancellation of the Games on the enhancement of diversity. While doing research on personal relationships beyond marriage, specifically on the interrelation of intimacy and space, I happened upon a three-minute-long promotional video released in February 2018 by the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. It's entitled, Who Will You Watch the Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics With? I realized that rushing to get married by the 2020 Olympics is a rather common refrain that is seen in popular manga and TV series, as well as in advertisements for matchmaking companies. This really caught my interest and connected well with my previous research project on the meaning of marriage for individuals and their life plans in times of declining marriage rates. Yet it also offers connecting points to my current research on spaces of intimacy and belonging. While marriage continues to be an aspirational goal for many adults, the number of people who want to or happen to stay unwed is on the rise. In this context, new types of life plans based on various straight as well as queer, romantic or mutually supportive relationships beyond a classic family are emerging. And while they are currently rather neglected in public discourse, they do require discrete attention in the future and their acceptance will be crucial, especially in the context of current socioeconomic upheavals and in times of a so-called hyper-solo society. impact of the postponement or potential cancellation of the games on the enhancement of diversity in Tokyo and Japan is difficult to gauge at this point of time. However, the postponement, or more precisely, the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and its various consequences intensify the question of diversity and equality on a global level. However, this seems to lead to two different opposing trends. On the one hand, we have a global call for solidarity and, after the terrible death of George Floyd, an intensifying global movement, movement against racism with demonstrations around the world, also in Tokyo and Kyoto. On the other hand, we see tendencies that explicitly work against solidarity, diversity and foster nationalism. Examples here are the current extremely restrictive immigration policies and the re-entry ban for foreign nationals from 129 countries in Japan, including long-term residents. Against this backdrop, we will have to see how the vision of unity and diversity will evolve and possibly come true in the future, for sure. It's a long way to go.